Welcome to the Tribute Media Suite. My name is Mariska Fernandez, and we are here with Ali Momin, who stars in the upcoming Deepa Mehta film, Viva Boys. Your character Nep has an interesting storyline. Yes, so it is. how would you describe him? I would describe him as, uh, describe him as uh, someone who's like, caught between many allegiances and many alliances and trying to find his way through that. Yeah. What was your first reaction when you read the script? When I read the script, I really thought that Deepa created, uh, I emailed her and I said, you know, you've created a movie that has all the excitement and fun of Scarface, but with the heart and soul of a Deepa Meta film. That's exactly how I saw it. And I still see it. What was it like working in such a powerful gangster film, which is layered with a bit of Bollywood swag and a little Bollywood glamour? Uh, it, it actually brought out, because in life, you know, not everything isn't, if it's just all gangster, we're all just like killing each other, we're all angry all the time, then it's just kind of like not real. But in life, you realize that even the most whatever, there's always the, uh, you know, the yin and yang. So I, I call that the yang, all that kind of stuff. It kind of made it more human and more fun to do. How did you prepare for the role? I did lots of preparation, you know, because I'm actually not Punjabi, I'm not Sikh. So I had to really immerse myself into the culture, immerse myself into the religion. So that was the first thing that I did. And I grew to actually really, truly love the faith. Um, and then after that was just like going over the script over and over and over again. Uh, thankfully, I had an amazing director and the writer who is Deepa Mehta. And, uh, you know, we spent a lot of time in her kitchen going through it. Uh, Deepa also was really great with us. She, she uh, had a workshop in which all the actors, you know, came in and we all did like theatrical exercises together to kind of bond and just kind of be able to, to just be on camera whenever she called action. Yeah. And I read you worked with your brother-in-law for a few preparations as well. Yes, I did. Yeah, we went, uh, you know, we shot some guns. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the, the, the film breaks stereotypes. I mean, if you look at that poster, there's, you know, seven brown leading men. You don't really see that often. Uh, so that breaks that. But I think ultimately the theme of the film, like a lot of people are talking about, it's about, you know, I think ultimately the theme of the film is that is it nature, is it nurture? Why are these things happening? Because th these things do happen. Like, I mean, you're going to watch the film and you're going to see some crazy things and you're going to think it's all fiction. But when I read the script and I went and I looked up all that stuff, there are news events that correspond to everything that happened, right? So the question is, is it nature, is it nurture? Are people... Um, uh, born that way or do people become that way and I think the ultimate argument at the end of this film is that people actually do become it and that your destiny is in front of you. That's nice. Yeah. What was it like working with Deepa Mehta? A trip. <laughs> <laughs> it was a trip. I mean De Deepa is Deepa is a mad genius um, and uh, she's just uh, she makes me feel old. Honestly she makes me feel old. She has such like a spirit about her, a youth about her, a kind of like uh, bravery about her. In many respects, I call her the ultimate gangster, you know, because she just doesn't care. She does whatever she wants. You're the second person to actually say that about I her. I coined that. <laughs> I was the first one who, who said that. But yes, yes, she is definitely a gangster. Yeah. And what about Randeep Huda? You share quite a few scenes with him. Yeah, Randeep and I really, uh, you know, it's interesting. Randeep and I's uh, relationship and Randeep and I's relationship in the film is very kind of like similar. You know, we both he come, he's this great, you know, actor from Mumbai, from Bollywood. He comes in and I'm like, I've had my kind of like, I'm like this upstart kind of guy. I've done a lot of like work on stage, whatever. So we're both kind of like sussing each other out. Like, who's this guy? And he's like, who's this guy? And you know what I mean? And then finally, we, I, I think by the end of it now, I think Randeep and I have like a very strong mutual respect for each other as artists. And it, very similar to kind of Jeet and Nep. There's just something that we see about each other, you know? So. That's nice. That's nice. But he's a, he's, he's a wonderful actor and he does an amazing job in this movie. <laughs> What's next for you? Uh, next for me, honestly, is like promoting this film. Like we're, we're, we're going everywhere and it, it's such a fascinating question to be asked like what's next when what's in front of me is so remarkable so I do have some stuff ha happening right now but n nothing replaces what's going on right now that's great thank yeah. you so much for chatting thank you. with us